What's up guys, Money Hoopla here. Welcome back to the channel. This is the first income update for the year of 2023. It is a blank slate. We have all new goals, all new categories. Actually, we don't really have two categories, but we are doing a lot of big things this year and we have big goals. So uh, let's jump into it. All right, let's start with the three categories that kind of flopped for this month. We got Amazon Affiliate, TikTok, and Dividends. All right, this is Amazon Affiliate Central. You can see this is for the full month of January. I got 280 eight clicks but no commissions unfortunately actually somebody did order something um they ordered like batteries after clicking on one of my links but i guess this item just wasn't um eligible for commission because i didn't get any money even though they bought something so yeah kind of sucks but it's not unusual for amazon affiliate for tiktok i kind of moved away my focus from tiktok i still post there but i now make my content with youtube shorts in mind starting february 1st they're going to be monetizing um youtube shorts so you can actually make money and since I'm already monetized on YouTube, yeah, like I said, I'm just focusing my attention there. TikTok is super saturated and the pay is, I mean, you really can't make money on TikTok unless it's sponsorships and stuff, but I'm not at that level. So yeah, I haven't really been doing TikTok live streams or anything. Um, and then for the dividends, um, I will have definitely have dividend income for February. So stick around for that. All right, let's move on to YouTube revenue. So for the month of January, we were at $75.15, which is up around six dollars from december now this changes um like i'll go back in like a week from now and this number might be a little bit different by a few cents so yeah i mean take it as it is 75 dollars and 15 cents now i won't get a payout unless it's above the 100 threshold so i probably won't get this money until um, march when they combine the january and february earnings at that point it'll definitely be over 100 bucks but here's the full chart for january you know it could range i could make as low as like a dollar and 30 cents up to like four bucks um, I don't think I got that high for this month, but, but it does say it was 8% more than the December month. So as you can see, I've been a little bit more consistent, but I'm still kind of fighting an uphill battle. Like 95% of my YouTube audience came from videos that I no longer make content about. Actually, I did the math and I'm, from my 1300 subscribers, only about 85 of them subscribed for my current content and the rest were from my old videos. So I've kind of gone back and forth as to whether I should keep posting on this channel and if I should move my financial stuff to a brand new channel but since i'm already monetized it would seem kind of like a waste so i'm just sticking through it and hoping that i can gain a new audience as i keep posting my videos let's move on to airbnb coasting for january i made 302 dollars and 22 cents that was 218.22 for management fees and 85 dollars for one cleaning fee i did we now have a long-term guest in there they're staying till almost may um so this is really nice i'm gonna get a, probably a similar payment for February and for March and April. I won't get the cleaning fee, obviously, until I clean the house again. It's kind of like passive at this point. I had to clean, it took me like three days to get it really nice for these guests since they're staying so long. But yeah, then after that, I just get to collect the 10% management fee, which is kind of nice. They've been pretty chill so far. I've only had to talk to them like one time and they're really nice people, so. So yeah, we don't have any data to compare from last year because we didn't start the Airbnb until February, 2022. But yeah, once I start getting February data in, we will definitely compare it to 2022 to see how things stack up. I'm expecting us to definitely make more money in 2023. Um, at least I am expecting to make more money. I'm definitely expecting to make more money than 2022, not just because we'll have an extra month of revenue, but because, you know, we have a lot of reviews now and we're able to charge um, a little bit more and, you know, we're just attracting more attention to our property, which is awesome. All right. So for W2 jobs, I made $3,346 and 32 cents. Um, I should really just change this to job now because I have a pretty consistent job um, since I started in September and I plan to stay at that company. If we double click into this, you can see these are the two paychecks I got, 1402.9 and 1943.42. I got a thousand dollar bonus this month in the second check. Um, this was basically just a quarterly bonus I got for um, the fourth quarter. So yeah, it's really nice. Um, and also at my job, if you clock in on time, you get like a hundred dollars extra a week. And if it's a peak week, you get 200 bucks and one more thing to note in 2022 i would only put my after tax paycheck but i realized everything else i was doing pre-tax like this is all gross revenue right airbnb coasting youtube amazon so i decided to do the same so there's really no point to compare it to january of 2022 because i wasn't tracking gross revenue i was only doing net for some reason but yeah moving forward it'll be a little bit more consistent and obviously it's going to look like higher numbers as well so with that being said my total income for january 2023 was three thousand seven hundred 
$124.69. As far as goals for this year, I haven't really written them out quite yet, but the main one I have in my head is to reach $5,000 in gross revenue per month um, on average. So we have a little bit of a ways to go. And then a YouTube goal is to get $1,000 in revenue per month. It's looking, <laughs> it's looking a little bit like an uphill battle right now, but I also have a second YouTube channel that is on its way to 300 subscribers. I'm at like 230 right now. And my goal with that YouTube channel is to get it monetized before July to see if I can start adding income from that YouTube channel to this, to my current one. Yeah, I'm trying all different things. I actually have three YouTube channels. I'm constantly trying different things, different genres, niches and whatnot to see what sticks. So yeah, stick around for updates on that. Um, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to my channel for more. I do these income updates every month. I think I have like 10 or 11 of them now. Um, I have a playlist that you can look on my channel. But yeah, we're going to do it guys. This year is going to be awesome. I have a lot of good feelings about it and a lot of great goals in mind. And if you want to be a part of it, go ahead and join my discord. It's linked in the description below. I want to build a community where we all talk about our financial goals and support each other and help each other up. It'd be so cool to build wealth um, with like a group of people, a group of friends or a group of followers, whatever it may be, peers. Like I'm going to the top no matter what. That's the goal I've had since I was like 15 years old, but I don't want to go there alone. So yeah, feel free to subscribe to this channel, join my discord, talk to me, send me a message. Uh, let's make stuff happen. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.